hours after causing a crash that killed a couple on a tandem bike. The suspected DUI driver faced a judge. 31-year-old Corey Carrado was charged with DUI manslaughter and vehicular homicide in the deaths of Janine Dorsey and Peter Yore. Fox 13's Josh Cassio is live at the Pinellas County Jail where Carrado is being held. And Josh, this is such a tragedy because, well, it could have been avoided. Yeah, FHP says Mr. Corrado started this entire thing because he was driving impaired. Tonight, many lives changed all in an instant. Janine Dorsey and Peter Yore were an outdoorsy couple. They recently got this tandem bike dubbed the Pineapple Express as a way to be active and ride together. I'm angry. She was ripped away and Peter were both ripped away from their families way too soon. Ripped away because of a suspected DUI driver. FHP says just before 6 Tuesday night, 31-year-old Corey Carrado was behind the wheel of a PT cruiser heading west on Keystone Road. Troopers say he was high on drugs and tried passing in a no-passing zone. A driver in a Ford Escape heading in the other direction tried avoiding Carrado's car only to get clipped in the back. The Escape rotated, flipped, and ultimately slammed into Dorsey and Yore on their tandem bike. The couple died together at the scene. This is an end result of a uh, set of poor choices that Mr. Corrado made yesterday that wound up costing two people their life. Are you able to hire an attorney to represent you, sir? Corrado appeared in Jailhouse Orange Wednesday in front of a judge. He's facing two counts each of DUI manslaughter and vehicular homicide. He had just been let out of prison in December. He's done multiple stints on drug charges, burglary, and dealing with stolen items. I think that he's already had a few chances and proven that he can't be trusted with them. And I don't think that he should be out in society where he can hurt anybody else. At least four lives forever changed and likely many more than that. Janine was very outgoing and outspoken. I'm devastated for her girls <laughs> that they're not gonna have their mom as they continue in their lives. Now, Corrado is currently in jail here on $80,000 bond. Prosecutors actually think that's way too low. They want it raised up, so he'll, he'll have a, uh, another hearing tomorrow at 1.30 where that bond could be significantly increased. Back to you. All right, Josh Cassie reporting live for us. Thank you.